Hello. I wanted to go over something that I think a bunch of people were misunderstanding on based on the genus corn bacterium homework that you all did for lab. So it's important to know the difference between a selective media and a differential media. A selective media usually has something extra or something missing in order to promote growth of only one kind of bacteria on the petri dish. Or for example, it might um, be missing a given type of sugar or protein source that a bacteria normally would need and would help you to determine if your bacterium can live without that key nutrient. Differential media contains something that when metabolized by the cells, we usually turn them a different color or perhaps cause them to fluoresce or might cause the media to solidify or liquefy or some other way that you can visually tell the difference between two different species growing on the same petri dish. So in specific, they mentioned there's some different media that they often grow the corn bacteria diphtheriae on. And they mentioned Loeffler's media as something that is selective in that it helps enhance granule formation. So I have here a picture of what Loeffler's media looks like. And when they say it's selective in that it helps to isolate only the corn bacterium diphtheriae species, it does so by providing growth conditions where that bacteria will be more likely to contain those granules that are highly characteristic of that species. So then when you make a slide from something that was grown on this media, it will be much easier to tell if those granules are there because there will be more of them. They also mentioned the telluride media as a differential media. So this here is a picture of what corn bacterium looks like when it's growing on telluride auger. Telluride auger contains something extra in it called telluride that when it's metabolized by the corn bacterium genus, it will cause the colonies to take on a black color. So if you look at this picture, there is a comparison between telluride auger on the left and blood auger on the right, which even though they both have a red background and look similar, the white colonies are on the blood auger because there's no telluride crystals in there that would cause the bacteria to take on that black color. So that's what they look like in their natural state. They would naturally be not pigmented. When you put it on the telluride auger, they take up the telluride, it goes through their, met their metabolic process, it turns them black. So if you had colonies growing on telluride auger that turned white, you would know they were not the corn bacterium diphtheriae species. If you had colonies growing on blood auger that were white, well, you wouldn't know what they were because blood auger is not differential. It just provides nutrients for things to grow. Blood auger is something that we would use in our laboratory sometimes, but not every week. The reason being that it is not as stable or long lasting and is more expensive than nutrient auger, but blood auger is really good at growing colonies that would naturally grow in or on a mammal's body because the blood provides a rich, nutritious media for them. Uh, nutrient auger normally does not have quite such a rich 
nutrient profile, even though it's called nutrient auger. Um, we also would commonly use uh, brain heart infusion auger in our labs um, instead of the blood auger. It's clear. It, it has a slight hint of color to it, but it's mostly clear and doesn't keep you from seeing what color your colonies are on top of it, since the blood auger is sort of opaque and it can make the colonies look a, an odd color. Um, the, these types of media are not differential. Another example of differential media that you may encounter later in this lab is Simmons citrate auger it turns a color based on the pH of the auger. So if the bacteria are producing base or producing acid as a waste product, it will change the pH of the media they're growing on and thus change the color of the media. That's an example of differential. A selective media besides Loeffler serum might include something that contains uh, an antibiotic in it. If your species you're looking for is resistant to the antibiotic methicillin, then you could put methicillin in your auger and it would select only for species that are methicillin resistant and it would cut down on possible contamination from other sources. So if anyone has questions further about the difference between selective and differential media, feel free to reach out to me. I just wanted to make sure that I pass this along to everyone because that's a pretty key um, topic for intro to microbiology. Have a great afternoon.